Hey guys, just getting started on our latest project here today. And uh, as you can see, we got some lines on the ground, but we're building a uh, warm up shack for the Hockey Association here in town. We had this pad put in by uh, Delta Concrete, which they did a real nice job. First thing we're going to do is set some timbers here, and then uh, we're going to put down some TGIs and build a floor and go from there. It'd be a great place for these kids to uh, come here and utilize the rink and uh, stay warm during the wintertime while they're using it. set here that we're going to put the building on and uh, now we got put our TJIs up here and we got them all cut so now we're going to start piecing it all together this will be the floor and from here we got our rim boards here put those on and uh, it'll start looking like a floor so as you can see we got the uh, TJIs rolled up got the rim board on right here This thing's 12 foot by 30 foot long. Be plenty big enough for our youth to come in here and get warm, get their gear on, go out there and play in the rink. While Jacob's over working on the skate shack, I snuck off over to my sister's to help her with a project of my own. So I'm here at my sister's apartment, it's about two blocks from the skate shack, and I just popped over to give her a hand with a project she's got going on. Um, she recently bought an apartment complex. She's enlisted my help to come up with creative storage solutions to maximize the space. Um, the entryway is a really big one because we live in Alaska and there's coats, there's boots, there's scarves, there's you know lots and lots of outerwear, so we need to really take advantage of this space as best as possible. So before there was just a closet rod, and piles of shoes. Most of the shoes that are gonna be put in this storage system are about this big, maybe this big, but there's little kits. So we've gotta find a way to take advantage of the space and you know, we definitely don't wanna use up like this much space for one little pair of shoes. We wanna use the, you know, a little space on the front for the shoe and then the, a compartment in the back for boots. So my sister got started already and she went ahead and built two benches. The reason that she built two is because um, it would have been, if we just built one, it would have been really tricky trying to get it in here without damaging the walls. So we built two so we can easily just put them in there. So the idea is you got like these little shoes, right? And in a normal bench, you'd put the shoes in there and you know, you either have shoes lost in the very back or one small pair of shoes taking up this whole cavity. So what we did instead was we'll be able to put the little shoes, and there's lots of little shoes in the front and then you know, imagine these are taller boots the boots can go back here in this cavity that are taller and I got these 1 by 12s we put a cleat on the wall just found the studs on the wall and put a cleat up and then I got these 1 by 12 boards that we ripped to size and they'll go here and um, we'll put them on a hinge and then you can hinge it open access the boots and then hinge it back closed. It's super simple custom build that you know it's semi-permanent you can take it out you can customize it to your needs um, and it's going to look super cute when it's done. Just putting the plywood back on the benches and once I get that in we'll be able to put them in place. I'm going to tell you what the weather is cooperating right now. Last year at this time we had snow, um, so you know we're getting a nice September out of the deal. Later on uh, in October we turn into winter, so we need to get this thing knocked out and done. We're getting this uh, floor to a certain point today, try to get the subfloor on it, and then this weekend we got about, I don't know how many volunteers are going to show up to help, um, but they're going to help finish build the rest of the shack. That way, you know, we get more of the community involved, get a volunteer program, and you know, they'll have more pride in using the building because they actually built it. We just got the 
floor built and we put the plywood in. Now we went ahead and we put some insulation in and we're almost ready for subfloor here. So rocking and rolling, things are happening. That looks pretty good. The backs are on and now we've got the cleat on the wall. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's the skate shot going? It's good, how you doing? Uh, I got the benches in. Um, now you can give me a hand if you want. That's all you got done. <laughs> Stop it. Alright, look at that. Looks like somebody planned that out. Uh, well, don't put too many screws in it because I think she wants to pull it out and then finish it outside and put it back in. Paint it? Yeah. She might want to paint it in place. <laughs> so, um, how's things going over at the skate shop? Oh, we're doing pretty good. We got the floor built over there. Getting things rolling anyway. We've got some walls. Got the all the walls cut so when all the volunteers help show up on Saturday and Sunday we can have a lot of it prepped and ready to go. So hopefully by Sunday we can have that thing a roof on. I think we service mount them because that won't catch your clothes as bad as sticking So I know that, but I mean, the, do we need a gap here? Is that good? Just a small one, as long as it's consistent. So Jacob stopped by, so I'm gonna get my lunch break out of the deal. Good work, honey. That's some more beans. That's it? Yeah. It's like the easiest thing to do. So Jacob stopped by and gave me a hand with the hinges, and um, we've got them all installed. So I need some finger holes drilled, but since I'm not at home where I can get to all my tool, I don't have it. But basically, once there's a once there's a couple finger holes in here, it'll be easy to just pull this open, and then it's really good food storage. I've done something similar to this, but I had it hinge up this way. Uh, but I found I didn't care for that as much because what happened is if you had anything on the bench and then you tried to lift it this way, it would pinch back there and get really difficult to open. So if you're in a hurry and you just wanted to grab your boots, you had to clean the whole bench off. So I decided to hinge hers this way because if there was something here, it would just push it forward. You grab your boots and close it and be on your merry way. Um, so we'll see if it works better or not. I think it will. And she's gonna be pretty happy with it. Bear Paint sent me a Bear mystery box and it's full of just mystery items that were intended to spark my creativity for a project. And my sister really loved the paint colors and the decor and all the mystery items. And so um, she talked me into applying that here. So I'm excited. We're going to apply my Bear box to this project and see how it comes out. So with the Bear box challenge, I'm doing a $100 Home Depot gift card you would like to put yourself in for the running, there's a link in the description. Just click it and head on over. On right now, we've got kind of another group here, so we're running and getting up. Pretty good. Did a good job. Got all the plywood on. Now we got a deck. Now we'll start framing walls here tomorrow. Next day. What do you think? This will be the view from up here. You'll be able to sit in a nice warm shack and watch the kids play hockey. in the moment in the Marquee paint. It's a one coat coverage. It's really a nice thick paint. I'm loving the color. We're going to pre-paint some of the pieces outside and then when it dries just bring it in and put it in.
place. So no mudroom is complete without good hardware. These hooks are from Liberty Hardware and I love this one because you can just throw big coats over it and got you know, a hat hook on it so great choice and it really looks good too. So we got these in a four pack. They're a little bit cheaper. I love these because you don't need as much room above it to hook them so when you're tight on space these are really good. So we got this project to a good place and I feel comfortable. I'm going to leave my sister to do the rest of the hardware and we'll wrap it up with some decor and some good photos and get the plans to you this Thursday. So this project's looking great and I'm going to go see what my husband's up to. Uh, we had a lot of volunteers show up today, super helpful, um, got guys coming and going and uh, it's been great. As you can see, we did all this in about six hours um, and uh, we're hopefully get the uh, sheeting on the roof today and maybe get the tin on, be all dried in, so yeah, a lot of, a lot of help. You got doors on both sides, there'll be some decks, um, but uh, you can see these windows in here. The kids can come in, get dressed in a warm area, and then go back out and go skating. And then in here, there's a be really nice. The parents can get in here and stay warm and watch their kids practice or play a game. Um, so yeah, this shack would be uh, really nice for just general use of the ice rink. We built another two by six construction on the walls. Put two by tens in the ceiling so uh, we can get a little more insulation in here so this thing's energy efficient. And then to uh, heat this thing, we're going to put a little toil stove in here and. You know, realistically, there's between three o'clock and maybe nine o'clock is when we really need to heat this place for when the kids are down here, and then on the weekend. So, any other time during the day, the rest of the day, we can turn the heater down, and so it doesn't have to maintain a, a temperature of 68 degrees or 70 degrees, whatever people like it. The only time this building will ever be used is in the winter. So I'm gonna get back to work. Our goal today is actually get sheeting on the roof and maybe tin on it. I don't know, but um, we'll see how much longer we can go and get that done.
much electrical. Day two. Where's Jacob? Uh, want to go grab the tin. Jacob's going to kill me, but I, last night I was like debating over and over again. We should drop those windows. We should drop those windows. Oh, he is going to kill you. Hey, Jacob. Hey, Jacob. So we hit our goals to get the skate shack all framed up this week. It's looking really good. Jacob actually ran off to get the tin, so we're going to start on that now. We're actually ahead of schedule, so it's looking good. We're really excited about the project. We're just going to keep rolling. So we'll see you guys next Monday.